Myelofibrosis, other names for myelofibrosis, myelosclerosis, idiopathic myelofibrosis, chronic idiopathic myelofibrosis, agnogenic myeloid metaplasia, idiopathic, myelofibrosis with myeloid metaplasia. What are the diagnostic criteria for myelofibrosis? Extensive marrow fibros, poor marrow fibros. This extensive poor marrow fibrosis may lead to T2 dry tap. What is dry tap? Failure to aspirate poor marrow. Failure poor marrow aspiration. Splenomegaly with extra medullary hematopoiesis due to fibrotic marrow and the failure of the poor marrow to produce normal blood cells so the spleen resume the hematopoietic rule and leading to extra medullary hematopoiesis instead of intramedullary hematopoiesis this leads to leco erythroplastic blood picture the presence of immature white blood cells leco, and red blood cells erythro immature red blood cells and red blood cells called leco erythroplastic leco erythroplastic with teardrop change of the shape of the red cell teardrop like tear Presence of immature white blood cells and red blood cells in the peripheral blood is very important diagnostic criteria for diagnosis of myelofibros in addition to splenomegaly and dry tap. Other causes of myelofibrosis, myelofibrosis may be secondary due to other neoplastic disorder or non Neoplastic cause. Neoplastic non hematological metastatic malignancies. Mostly metastatic malignancy can breast, prostate, poon, spreading to the poor marrow, leading to marrow fibrosis, failure of the poor marrow to produce normal cells. Other hematological malignancies, hematological malignancies, leukemia. AML and AML lymphoma Hodgkin disease myeloma multiple myeloma myeloid leukemia chronic myeloid leukemia and the hairy cell leukemia all of this may lead to myelofibrosis failure of production of the normal blood cells non neoplastic inflammation or infection chronic widespread in the pulmonary like TB fungal or immunological like lupus, erythromatous cells in the systemic lupus, all of this leading into pulmonary failure. You can see splenomegaly, sometimes hepatomegaly. You can see here teardrop, immature red blood cells, immature white blood cells, leco erythroplastic, anemia with teardrop and different shapes of the red blood cells you can see different shape it's called poikilocytos fibrous tissue in the bone marrow you can see all of these are fibrous tissue fibrous tissue they lead to dry tap In some patients, failure of the pulmonary aspiration, hyper pulmonary replaced by many fibrous tissue, leading to failure of the pulmonary aspiration. Causes of massive splenomegaly, palpable, huge spleen, very large spleen, maybe in hematological disorders like myelofibrosis, we just mentioned the biggest spleen is myelofibrosis 
chronic myeloid leukemia, beta thalassemia major, and other causes like hairy cell leukemia. Parasitic disease like visceral leishmaniasis and tropical spinomegaly and bilharziasis in Egypt. Others, storage diseases, glycogen storage disease like Gaucher disease and splenic cysts or tumor. The spleen highly infiltrated by malignant cells leading to splenomegaly. Moderate splenomegaly, it's not huge, it's just moderate in lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, some types of acute leukemia, chronic anemia, polycythemia vera, congenital spinomegaly, secondary to portal hypertension.